All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Skip and Loafer, Loafer episode, episode six. six. This <sighs> show just keeps on hitting aces. It does, it does. Just so we, good. We've developed so much of the main cast thus far, given mm -hmm. them a lot of really good uh, characterization. And now, uh, well, I guess we could either keep going with the main cast or we could introduce a new character. Um, or we could maybe deal with the exam stuff that's looming ahead. Sure, any and all of those would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, we have so far focused on the girls as far as the main cast, which I feel like makes sense. Yeah, because she's you know, going to be friends with more girls, more girls and, and stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I'm curious if they will go into the boys in a bit more depth, because I feel like this could be a natural place to do that. But mm -hmm. at the same time, whatever this show does, pretty much I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah, I, I would also just always love more stuff with... Um, Sosuke and Itsumi. Yeah. Um, yeah. Getting some stuff to kind of explore their dynamic a little bit more before things go, you know, full romance or anything like that. Right. Um, but yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Spit take. <laughs> Choking him. <laughs> oh. Tell me. Love. Everything. It's the love episode. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, she only has like eight to choose from, so. <laughs> eight? Try four, you know? <laughs> That's why when new boy shows up, they're like, mm -hmm. I'm like yeah. we have to assess your place in the meta, you know? Exactly. I think I've been in that place once where I mm. went to a different like friend group and ended up hanging out with them because of like one connection. And suddenly I could feel the eyes of people being like, Huh. He ranks, you know, like, 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 and I'm just like, yeah, yeah like, mm -hmm. it conveniently happened around summer as well. Uh -huh. So it was like, you know, that yeah. whole, like, oh, you know, uh, it, mm, it's bringing specific things to mind. Yeah. It's fun being an introvert at times if the extroverts claim you and are like, no, we'll mm. introduce you to everybody. Sure. Because you yeah. don't need to necessarily, like, do a lot of that stuff yourself. Right, right. So they'll be like, hey, this is Caleb. Yeah. And it's like, hey, guys. Oh, those like, strangers look yeah. so good. Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes. I love this choice of background track. <laughs> She is the flower, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what does it feel like? Yeah. Right, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like taking uh, I'm learning, yeah. Uh -huh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sounds very serious. Assuming you fall in love someday. Maybe love will be a good one after all. Yeah. I mean, hey, you get bonus progress for studying on a rainy day. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Here we go. Oh my god. And oh, what do you know? There's three of them. What? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. 
やめて。Right. <clears throat> no way. No way. Oh my、Wait. god. What are What? you doing? What is happening? She, she dozed off in class. She's, yeah, she's sleeping. Yeah. She's absolutely asleep. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, there we go, there we go. All these feelings you have now. Cold shoulder because he made her worry. Also, not communicating. Mm-hmm. Ah, Ah, perfect. Yes, yes, force a、nice. conversation. Yeah. <clears throat> not mad, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> yeah. 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 ああ。よくないよ。何急に。自分のこと適当は良くないし、弱さ見捨てるとか言われるのだって嫌じゃん。は誰かから聞いたの。それは昨日たまたま。とにかく私が言いたかったのは1年生でも期末テストは大事だし
相手のためを思って注意しただけだと思う<笑>だったらわざわざ蒸し返して謝ったりしなくていいんじゃない言いたいこと言ったんだったら自信持たなきゃ<笑>言いたいこと Here's that little bit of like sabotage 混乱してる混乱してる学級代表同士っていうアドバンテージがあんだからそのくらい自分で何とかしなさいよねそれはそうなのか出ない心配したのも良くないと思ったのも本当。But was it what you wanted to say? Yep, yep, exactly. しっくりこない。No, for some reason, not really. Something else. I don't know, Chief. Something else. 一番最初に何を思ったんだっけ Is that I missed you and was worried about you? Yes! All right. Yes! I'm gonna clear the air. Mm hmm. So you see the value in these talks. Right. And he's like, he's not excited it. for this talk. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. Oh. Oh. Uh, the hands are both raised. Uchiwa. Ima kiko honin shugide. What am I saying? What is he saying? What? What? Bango ham bits bits toka yoka arashi. Oh. 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 みつみちゃんがしつこかったからとかじゃなくて。いやいやいやいやいやいやいや。俺が弱遊びしてるとかって話をちょっとでも真に受けたりしたのかなって。そう。違うよ。それはたまたま。うん。大体わかるよ。い
like that was very much one of those things where he just sort of like says a thing casually and like yeah. someone says a thing casually and you're like wait what right fuck yeah we got Once ourselves again. a one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. conversation Indeed. a little bit of a uh confrontation if you yes. will but then also a little bit of a uh, DTR, you know, mm -hmm. like. I I love that the kinda 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 yeah kinda. right not entirely but not it's the really, but it's the right. um the acknowledgement from both of them that they are very close and that they mean a lot right to yes. each other so you know it's the uh actual friends not acquaintances you know like like this is the, oh yeah they're real friends like they are they are real friends they're solid friends. And and that that is a thing that but is precious to both that. of them. They could have lost. They that. could have lost this episode. That. Right. There was a there was just enough that was introduced as far mm -hmm. as stakes that yep. they could have lost that if they didn't have this conversation. Right. Not because of them ending up being in a situation where Mitsumi would have been like, oh, I'm not gonna just hang out with you, or Hiroshima would have been mm -hmm. like, or Isosuke would have been like, I'm I'm not gonna hang out with you either. No, yeah. what it could have just been is the, oh, now we just seem to talk about the weather. Right. And, and then it sort of just fizzles out. It. Yeah. And I I got to say, mm -hmm. as far as ways to have something like this get brought up, I really like how this was handled for a few reasons. Um, right. One, it starts with the whole um, thing with Fumi being like, oh, there's this boy that I like. So yeah. we're already like, okay, we're in romance mode for yep. this episode, right? Right. Cool. That's that is something that is very like uh, fun to get because then that's mm -hmm. a big promise of progress, right? Yes. Then we have this episode be the point where, oh, hey, we actually have our first real bit of drama, basically, you know, that actually like lasts between for, the two main characters. Between the two main characters and that lasts right. for like, you know, a, a semi decent amount of time, mm -hmm. right? Which could be annoying because then it's like, well, wait a minute, hang on, everything was all smooth sailing. We don't want drama that like impedes progress. Well, they have to. They have flaws. But they have to because they have flaws. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he is this way, it only makes sense. It would be weird if it didn't at some point cause problems for the two of them. Yep. Because while um, uh, she's been sort of this like uh, sanctuary, breath of fresh air, respite, whatever, where he can drop some of that. Mm -hmm. The fact that those are his tendencies and the tools that he yeah. prefers to use, that means that he is still going to use them in their dynamic. And so that right. needs to actually be addressed. So we get that, cool, but by the end of the episode, we still circle back to not just that getting resolved, mm -hmm. because if it was just that, then it'd be we reached, we got back to status quo, which would be not very satisfying right it's mm -hmm. like okay that's important for character stuff but right, right. let's get more and so at the end it's the ah she realizes that like wait a minute are these like the, the romantic I feelings have those feelings oh no oh no i'm gonna be in full-blown you know conscious denial of them but oh boy that's what this is but but that could totally still happen with friends too you know right, right because according to her mm -hmm. and i think it's actually a really cool way to describe this as well they are still friends yep they are not in love with each other. And yeah. I actually really like that because mm -hmm. love is not just, oh, I want you. I want your body. Love is, love is infinite. Mm -hmm. Love has so many ways it can be expressed. Love has so many ways it can be dealt in and, yeah. and, and absorbed and mm -hmm. egressed and ingressed. It's, it's so, it's so much more than that. So the idea that she's like, wow, I, I, I have deep seated feelings for this mm -hmm. this guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's love. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. It's not romantic love yet. No, it's not. But there's something there. There's something. There's something. And, and it is it is definitely mutual because we can see that when the thing happens that mm -hmm. he's uncomfortable with, he tries to kind of eject from it, but like, mm -hmm. hey, let's, you know, I'll say this so that hopefully this doesn't need to happen. And then mm -hmm. I'll leave. And she's like, okay, there's just the one thing I want to say. And she says right. that, great, then, oh, hey, they both end up saying more things, but because the other, like, one person says something and the other person's like, oh, that reached me, that affected me. Yes. Okay, cool. I'll open up a bit more. I'll, uh -huh. Like, like he engaged, he started to engage with the conversation that he didn't want to be a part of and that he wanted to eject from, right? For sure. So that goes to show that while this uh, uh, flaw or character trait of his is something that is absolutely going to be present in the dynamic, he is willing to consciously make an effort um, uh, in opposition of that yeah. for the purpose of their relationship. Great. That's what you need, right? Mm -hmm. And so then it's able to keep going. And they and what was going to originally just be like a terse little thing of like just 
oh, one of them says one thing that's like, you know, the, okay, this will make it so that we don't have to talk about it. And then the other person says their thing. Mm -hmm. It actually turned into a full conversation that was like really sweet and wholesome and wonderful while at the same time not being, you know, uh, like overly dramatic or any of the things. I mean, it that... was overly dramatic. Well, okay, it I was mean... overly dramatic. Okay, no, that's fair. Like, like, uh, like, let's 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 be real here. For them specifically, this is overly dramatic. Mm, they they, yeah. they they literally both did. Did you go? Did you go? You know, like yeah, like, yeah. like <laughs> multiple times. So yes. This was a thing where uh, we ended up actually getting progress in their relationship because they had to backpedal, and mm. a lot of that is because the perspective shifted with regards to Mitsumi. Me. She realized that she had been idealizing and or ignoring a lot of the things that she would typically not like of a person. Sure. And just being like, oh, well, I don't see those. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. That was there all the all along. Yeah. Oh, how shoot. do I feel about that? What am well, I going to do? Right. Because from her perspective, she's like, oh, I feel like I, I like this guy, mm. but but he's not fulfilling my expectations. Uh, uh, and I'm somebody Wait. with big expectations right, right, in general. Right, right. So, so, so he should be upset, or, or I, I'm upset for him. Wait, wait. Am I missing him? Am I upset at him? What, what am I feeling? Yeah. Ah. So uh -huh. I, I love that the episode focused on the ways first in which she's like, oh, I need to get to know who he is. Actually, I don't really mm -hmm. know him. Right. Yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So then, actually, having the episode focus on the ways in which she can kind of read a little bit more into things than there actually is. To oh, yeah, like, yeah. But, but what if it was He's going to join yeah. a biker gang and, like, drop out of school. Well, that and... too, but also the, like, uh, oh, uh, what what if, what oh, if yeah, he it was, was a actually, specific... like, meaning this is... That, yeah, there's too much. Yeah, the, yeah, no, 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 the, no, no. Something happens, and now it's the, wait, that conversation two months ago. Okay, wait, hang on. I need to hyperanalyze this He's shit. been holding a grudge this whole time. And then you go to his perspective. Have I been holding a grudge the whole time? <laughs> I, I love it. That's a great way to like reinforce the like neurotic connections uh -huh. that she's making in her brain space, while at the same time addressing that like no, that's not what it is. But like you know, but that he also sees those connections just because you know because of difference in temperaments, personalities, and right. also circumstance of who's who in the dynamic <laughs> exactly he's not like overly attaching to it right no but he, he but he does actually think about it he's a detached yeah. person exactly right. but i i thought it was great i loved the bit that um Igashira, like mentioned that was like the i'm giving you something that is potentially helpful advice but also at the same time like oh you had a fight okay start like you know checking like how i look and everything and all that stuff like i mean hey you know, if you're going to spoil a good thing, I'll absolutely take advantage of it. But I'm not going to actively sabotage by telling you to do bad things, you know, right? No. And so, and so then she actually... She actually, actually her the, the most important thing. Of, what did you really want to say? Yeah, if that was what you really wanted to say. And it's the, oh, was it? Was it? Hang and on. And she starts thinking there like, oh, God, what did what, I really What did I want to say? say? But I love that because it's something where it's the... Yeah. The, um, oh. when you have feelings that you don't understand, mm -hmm. right? You might say things that you, that are getting at what you think is what yep. you're feeling, uh -huh. but if it's not actually what you're feeling, then it's not helpful, right? Like, right. You know, at, the, at the very least, it's yeah. just something where if there is good communication on that, it's on something that doesn't really actually matter that nope. much. But if there's miscommunication on the thing that you weren't actually wanting to communicate about in the first place, then how do you actually go about addressing the real issue? Because right. there's two degrees of separation. Yeah. So, you know, like, in math, you need a certain number of variables to be understood on both sides of the equation in order to do something, right? Like, right. if you, you you don't have enough info to actually fix this. So then yeah. she goes and she finds the info of, what was it that I actually was feeling? What did I want to say? Mm -hmm. And then she finds that out. Great. And because she is such an awesome go-getter type person, and, and right. this is one of the things that makes her such a wonderful protagonist, Yes. as soon as she finds out what the thing is, She's like, oh, she runs after him. She calls out to him. She's like, I need to talk to you for a second. There was no like, yeah. oh, no, if I say it this way, people are going to think it's some kind of love confession or whatever. No, it's None just the bullshit. No, I just I need to talk to you. She says the thing. And it's like the the perfect thing to make him be like, oh, that. Ah. Wow. OK, I understand your feelings. And also that means a lot to be to right. say to somebody school's really boring without you and so i was bored and i was wanting you to come to school like that's acknowledging the selfish side of it with her mm -hmm. you know so that it's, it's honest and true it is vulnerable while at the same time 
letting the person know how much you care. Yep. You know? And so great. Mm-hmm. Like, what, 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 what's not to like, you what's know? What's not to like here? Like, and then also just the added little benefit that before this, we even got like Sosuke just sitting there with his buddy who's like, you know, from his acting days and kind of giving him that little bit of like, mm-hmm. bloody, you know, but also <laughs> like the like, ooh, but, oh, you right. know. <laughs> You said what? Oh, uh, well, okay. What you just said there? No, tell her that. That's like, great. Like, and and one of the things that I also got to say I like about this is that this is a situation where, um, the, uh, the protagonist, because mm. she is the go getter, yes. she did the thing that, realistically, yeah, she had the things that she could you know apologize uh-huh. for, like you know cover for and all that stuff, but, um. I personally would have loved it if he had taken the initiative. But the yeah. thing is, is that that's not the type of person he is. Right. So he doesn't, right? And it's not and it's not done in the way that I've seen in a lot of shows where it's the um uh the higher in social status prince or princess archetype character then doesn't end up making the amends for the damage in the relationship because, sure. you know, uh they can do no wrong you know right. in the sort of meta sense no that's not this is literally his character flaw yeah but she covers for it because mm-hmm. you know what they are great together and, and they cover for each other's like you know him yeah flaws and all mm-hmm. now she might need to get to know his flaws a little bit more and so him opening up about the oh hey this is the situation at home my family is super detached they, we often don't even eat dinner together i won't even like you know spend the night at that house you know Mm -hmm. like that's real shit that's real stuff Mm -hmm. to the point where yeah if they did end up if she did end up being like come stay with my aunt you know and i like i could totally see that happening and it being Mm -hmm. super sweet yeah maybe that's how we could get the the little dance parties you know that like they're 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 up late at night yes and it's just like okay let's let's just i don't know you know put on some fun music or something and just goof off but I, yeah. I, I would very much love that. I I also just really like that this happened in episode six because mm. in a lot of ways they shouldn't go immediately into romantic lovey dovey. Oh yeah, stuff. of course not. Yep. There's a lot that would come up if we want this okay, from a from a meta perspective. Mm-hmm. The story would not have a good um trajectory in my opinion if we just mm. skipped through all this yes this stuff needs to happen yep and also there's an element in this story that is focusing on the nostalgia and just the warm and fluffy sides of mm-hmm. things but with as we explore every single character we are getting to know that underneath all that stuff there is pain there is right. actual heartache yep so if we were to take our titular, you know, main character and have mm-hmm. her just enter into this, oh, it's just wonderful, so quick, and everything just works out, like, mm-hmm. just relationship, and then they would figure it out as they went, for sure. sure. yeah. I don't feel like, I don't feel like the story would be headed in a good direction. So mm-hmm. the fact that we're in some ways saying, hey, part of the nostalgia of high school is that there were those rainy days mm-hmm. where things were like the end of the world for like six yeah. hours, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of it, when you went and communicated it and you mm-hmm. did the like yeah. pretty mature thing here, the sun poked through the rain clouds. Yeah. It was as if a whole new day dawned. Oh, yeah. And you want to you start had feelings breaking into from song. Your, yeah. From your, your, your toes uh-huh. up to your forehead. Yep. And yep. And suddenly everything was, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah radiant and, mir- and, and, and and magical. Yes. Like, I, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Fucking this, this love, show, this show, I show is absolutely precious and wonderful. And also, I just ah! want to point out, just want to point out, this is, in a way, mm-hmm. um, the earliest point at which, at which this could happen. Ah, because sure. Because sure. we finished basically fully introducing the core cast with the previous episode right we still need to get to know yuzuki uh sure that's i mean yeah that's a good point like yeah yeah, we got we got her bit with um yeah yeah, very small bit yeah very small bit but that is a good point but basically we have like a full foundation where i feel like okay i i understand the characters a good amount we can definitely get more with them but like and now okay now that we've done that 
yeah. before doing, you know, other stuff. Further that could, character development. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Now it's the, all right, let's get back to the main two because yep. they are the main characters. So yeah, you know, let's have the them get focus. on each other's nerves. Yeah, exactly. And then figure that out. That's yep. going to take some time. Mm -hmm. I, I love that it did actually take some time. I like that it was not all done the same day. And right. they did actually get to have some time to sit on mm -hmm. it, think on it, sleep on it. And that they could also see the different ways in which their own idiosyncrasies and like, uh, quirks mm -hmm. exacerbate the situation. You know, oh. like like when mm -hmm. uh, she stays up all night, you know, she can't really sleep because she's worrying about it and thinking about it and stressing about it. And then he comes in the next day and she's like, you know, is she acting? Oh, she's pissed. Yeah. Like, because she's she's just like bloodshot eyes and like, you know, and, and tries to do the smile thing. But, you know, it's and he's scared. she's a whole wreck. You know, and he's scared that she's going to like level something at him because she believes all these, you know, rumors and things about him. So yeah. She's already begun to, you know, mm -hmm. protect herself and and do all this other stuff. So he's like, OK, I'm not going to be, you know, very open. I'm going to be very like walls up. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the thing of the, hey, we can make the small talk, you know, oh, yeah. But no, I don't but nothing deeper. want to. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 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 something fun where I'm I'm hoping that this anime does get into this because I think it would be a, it would be, I, I'm invested enough in the cast that I'm okay, actually, if we have a little bit of a tone shift. Mm. But um, they should get into, actually, some of the uh, areas that combat the nostalgia of high school and uh. middle school and all that. And that is that uh children go through events that stick with them for a long time sure not necessarily trauma because i don't want to muddy the waters of what trauma actually is mm -hmm. but like having you know really painful shit happen where you're like oh yeah my parents mm -hmm. just don't really involve themselves in my life Right, and oh. I've like adjusted to that. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't think much of that. Yeah, yeah. I, like I, I, I acknowledge that it's a, a different thing than most people. Yeah, but... we we had things coming close to bullying being explored like barely with the mm -hmm. Ashura in the previous episode. So the idea that we could get into some of this stuff with uh, Shima or Sosuke, mm -hmm. um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about this. And given that we had the um the establishment that uh his mom was really invested in him being a child actor the or fact... he was invested in his mom's approval specifically. Uh, right and and she seemed to respond positively to it you know mm -hmm. um the fact that he's not a child actor anymore oh and parents are very distant right it's like i, I don't want to leap to any conclusions. i don't, I don't want to leap to conclusions but i right. i see a trend there i, I see, see a trend i too. see some dots that could make a line yes you know? exactly um, there and it's not a fun line it's there's not a lot of fun lines that can be made with those dots yeah no. exactly so, so so that's something where i if it did end up being something where he would stay with them every once in a while and like you know the aunt would would get to kind of mother him and stuff mm -hmm. that would be awesome yeah that would be awesome but yeah i want the story to go the distance i'm already mm -hmm. upset we don't have a season two yet so yeah all right y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon and get an early access there you can watch full length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access so you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out our twitch channel so yeah if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time, time.